morning, how you diddly doodling, welcome to my channel, and I did check my armpits, <laughs> hope you're alright, thanks for all your messages, I've got a bit of change of scenery, because I can't find my light, I don't know what I've done, but I tidied up last night really late, and I can't remember, so I hope you're alright, I don't know if my eyebrows are straight, but who cares, I've been out for a walk, and it's so hot here, Right, I don't know what I'm going to do today yet because I'm never prepared. If you don't know me, my name's Kerry. I'm a psychic, intuitive reader and I make my own cards and I also do other cards as well. But I don't do like proper tarot. I can read tarot, but I just want it to be different. So if you're here, you've been guided here by your angels and my angels and the universe and your angels will guide me. So if you've come here, it's not a mistake that you've come here. You would have been guided. So, what I'm going to do is, I don't really want to do a karmic read this morning. I'll do you a little one, but I'm going to use my mystic red oracle ones for you, all right? I kept getting in my head this morning, um, oh, what was that song? Let it all out. Shout. Not by um, Lulu. Shout, come on now, shout, take it easy. No, it was... Um, Oh, I don't know who sings it. I can't sing, but I like to, like I tell you. Oh, no, narcissist. Oh, oh no, I've got the narcissist. Someone's looking in the mirror and realising that they're very self-absorbed. Right, this is all one-sided with this person. Right, sometimes I do go straight into the readers, how I'm guided, okay? So anyway, that song was Let It All Out. You know that shout? Let it all out. These are the things I can do without. Come on. I'm talking to you, come on. So someone might want to shout and let it all out. Or they might be feeling like you're not listening. <laughs> They're shouting to themselves. Right, we have the golden mirror, guys. So, narcissist. So this person is a love bomber. And they are very self-absorbed. Everything with this person is one-sided. So if you was in a relationship with this person, you would have felt like they didn't reciprocate to you if that's the right word and um it would have been all about them and what they wanted to do they would have been very like manipulative and probably um a liar as well they might have just like come around and used you for whatever and then told you like a lot of promises i'm getting i feel this person would have made you a lot of promises and never fell through with anything and um i'm feeling this person like does this with a lot of people i'm feeling on this other card because we've got sunglasses so this person could be watching you or just looking at what you're doing and thinking about love bombing you but be careful because this person's all about themselves okay they could be stalking you as well well if they're narcissists that's exactly what they will be doing but I'm feeling, and I got a download this morning before these, these cards even came out, that this person does this with a lot of people. Oh, look what's next. Now I've shuffled these. I did them all last night. All my cards have been shuffled. So this narcissist is a partier. Now they like to spend time with friends. All they think about is having fun. Yeah, I just heard it might not be so much fun for other people that they're hanging around with or who they love bomb. And, um... This person acts like they are single when they're out and about. And they're happily single, but they like living in the moment. So they go around love bombing people, making out that they're free to be attached to people. And then uh, it ends up being a one-sided relationship. And then they go off partying. They might even go to the beach with people or go on holiday. They just have fun and make out that they're single. And they just live in the moment, which is really selfish. Right, this person has addictions as well. I'm pulling them because I'm guided to do it like this, guys, okay? So this person um, needs a lot of healing. They might be healing heartbreak. It might be heartbreak from you. I'm feeling you've let this person go and you're probably the only person that's done this to this person to show them a lesson. That's what I'm getting. So that's why I'm getting that off the mirror. So you might have um, made this person look at themselves more than anybody else did or does. 
you might have found out this person was a love bomber because it was so like um all about them this person's very toxic they like to be toxic and um if they are in a relationship they start getting very abusive but i'm feeling this person gives their heart to everybody so whatever they've said to you they say the same thing to everybody else so they go around with a little heart like a little jar of hearts, just giving them out. Because there's a little box of hearts here. And, um, yeah, I think this person... I'm feeling this person likes to break up with people because they like the making up. Or they like to put people into a heartbreak situation. See the little box of hearts there? So they just give out their hearts to everybody. Their hearts. Their heart, when they probably haven't got a heart. Their fake hearts. That's what they are, like sweets. Like giving them out like candy. Yeah, this person um, might tell people, everyone they meet, oh, we're soulmates, oh, yeah, we'll get married, and I'll buy you a ring. And um, they probably talk a lot about, like, the future. They might have even had a few um, marriages before they met you. Or they could be a bigamist, I'm getting. Or they could act like they're in a marriage or a union. This person might also be in a marriage whilst going out like giving their rose to everyone else if it's a woman like giving their foo foo <laughs> yeah right as i say or a man giving their wand to everybody else and um promising them like marriage or a sacred union but um it's not gonna last for this person because this person has no devotion whatsoever they might even like buy you flowers like, everywhere they go, they buy people flowers. Or they might have thought you was... Like, not thought, but told you that you was like their flower. So they're just, like, giving everybody a headache, to be honest. But this person likes spending time with their friends, having fun more than they do being in relationship. This person might actually sleep around. Yeah, I'm getting energy. This person might sleep around with their friends as well. But this person is definitely watching you. They might look at other people with sunglasses and I'm getting like in a pervy way. But this person just literally makes out to people that they're like going to be a life partner. But they're not. They're giving themselves to everyone else. But whatever this person said to you, I know it doesn't make it better, but they say the, ooh, the same thing to everybody else. Yeah, look, like the chaser. So this person has got fear of being left. And because you've probably left this person and it's not happened to them before, it's made them feel codependent. And now they feel like chasing you. But I feel this person is um, just codependent, like got codependencies, as in relationships, like drinking, probably drugs, maybe. They're codependent on working or they just codependent person. They might have um, mummy issues as well, this person. They might have been left by a parent before or felt like they had to constantly like ask their mum or dad for affection or attention, I'm getting. But this person is um, very good at what they do. I feel this person has been doing this like all their life. I feel this person's friends don't even know about what they're like and how much heartbreak they actually cause other people. But this person has definitely got addictions. Yeah, they have. So they've got addictions which they're codependent on. This person is... Um, they could live by the sea or they could like go into the sea. Or you could live by the sea. This person might go on holiday. Like I said, I'm feeling a holiday vibe on here. You might have met this person on holiday. Yeah. With this person, anything's just not enough. No, nothing's enough for this person. This person might go around making out they're really confident. But they're not confident at all. They're just living their ego. And um, I feel they've got a lot going on. Like where they go around blindfolding people and um like just tying people up in all these relationships that's why they um they lack confidence and they do because they probably don't know what stories they've told to other people 
they might um, act confident and inside they're not. But like I said, they live in their egos because they're very fearful. This person might be very frustrating. They might be very frustrating, like feel frustrated a lot, maybe get angry a lot. Maybe they made you feel like you was like tied to them and you couldn't go anywhere and you felt quite bound to them. I'm feeling this person might have made you feel like you weren't enough. Maybe they made you feel like you should look in the mirror and see what you was doing wrong. Cause this is how like into themselves that they are. But this person just is never happy. They're never happy whatever they're doing, but they always feel like they're not enough. So what they do is they just abandon things because they get insecure. Then they go and chase someone else or they stalk someone else. And um, they may be a bit of a predator, like they like looking at other people like in a sexual way and they see people like as a target and then they hone in on that person. And then once they've honed in on that new person, they like to party with them and then they all make out they're all happy and they're all having a good time and yeah, we'll be good friends. They might have even said, oh, we're best friends. And then... Instead of just having like one night stand and leaving it, this person won't. They will actually get into a full-blown commitment, not worrying about the consequences at the end of this situation. So this could be past or present. I'm feeling this is either now or the past, but I feel this person does this all the time. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Angels, have you got any more cards? for me, I hope you're alright guys, I hope you have a really good day today, it's Monday today, and um, right, abundance, so you're coming into abundance, be careful, because this person might try and seduce you, because they know things are going well for you now, and you're in a good mindset at the minute, this person knows that you can manifest what you want, so you're a good manifester, this person knows that with you, life was quite blissful and they might have got a lot of blessings when they was around you because you was the gift I'm getting. So this person could have been very abundant whilst they were with you. Maybe they came into more money and um, you might have made this person feel quite positive in their mind. And then they might have thought that they was manifesting all this um, luck that they had, but it was you being around you that was making this person like lucky. But... Um, they're not very grateful for anything, this person, and I feel they don't they don't deserve blessings. Normally, I feel that this is you getting blessings. You could be coming into abundance because we had it yesterday, but I'm feeling that this person knows that you're abundant, and then they will come along and like have like be seductive with you, or they're like this with other people because I feel there's a lot of people involved in this, and they may go around. Um, like, say if this person's with people on benefits, they know what day their benefits are paid. So they will turn up just before the money's due. Maybe people feed them and then um, they'll go out on their money and party and have a good time. And then they'll know the money's running out. So they leave whoever with no money. It could have been you left you with no money. As soon as it starts running out, you think they're back there. So you start having a relationship, feeling comfortable feeling happy and then they go and then they'll go off with the next person whose money's due on that day or if they work I don't think these people work though but this person just likes hooking up with people they might even date people in the background whilst they're with other people or whilst they were with you this person likes to tease people and play games with people there might be an attraction between you and this person this person could be very attractive they could be very tempting that's why you take the bait that's what I'm getting. But this person is just a temptation. I feel like they like temptations. They can't say no to things because they're so in their ego. But this person's got a fear of being on their own. So they've got a collection of people everywhere who chase them. And these other people that chase them, they are also um, lacking confidence they might not be very positive, some people. I think you was very positive to this person and you gave this person blessings, but I'm feeling that the people they're around are not like you. They just party, get drunk, think everything's fun. Maybe they go to a lot of weddings and a lot of celebrations. But yeah, this person could be dating other people. They are in a third party. They're definitely in a third party. 
They might even like going around letting someone lick their lollipop. Or if it's a woman, they go around licking the lollipop. They might even do that for a job I'm getting. Or maybe they might do that to take money off of people. So they're giving themselves up just to get their money, sleeping with them. They might even say after they've slept with you that you wasn't enough. So that's how they get away from you, make you feel like you're nothing and uh, then leave you with no confidence and then go and like love bomb someone else and then it all starts again the ball keeps rolling yeah be careful because this person is a player and they've got many options this person does have a lot of fur parties that they have one night stands with or oh, i'm feeling they're not one night stands i feel like they're string alongs with this person they're like they make this more of a one night stand this person likes to text people and they would say to you, oh, I'm just ringing because I'm just thinking of you. And they're not. They're after your money. Someone might be informing you of this, that this person goes around expressing love with other people. You might find out about other third parties. You might even get a message from this person that suddenly wants to love bomb you again. And they act like they're going to express their love to you. But I think you're going to find out from someone. You might even find out from a phone call that this person does this with other people. And you might have thought this person was only thinking about you. Nice, isn't they, these people? Yeah, there could be a tragic ending with this person. Or there could be an ending to all this. Because this person ruined your new beginnings or tried to. While you were transitioning and you were uh, moving forward, this person tried to put an end to everything that you was doing. They could even lose someone like who's around them or they could lose their own life because they tried to stop your new life. You might have had to literally transform over this person maybe you found this ending like very very hard to deal with and it did feel like a tragedy maybe you felt like when you lost this person you felt like you died or they could try to unalive you or you might have just thought well where are they it's like they're dead and they've just left me and it's like you didn't see this person again i'm getting off that card right let's have a shuffle it's so hot today guys it's really hot here i'm not really a summer person i prefer spring and um, autumn, I think it's because I was born in September, but um, I just don't like being hot. And it's not nice for my dogs either. Yeah, addictions. This person is very codependent. We've got codependent again, guys. So this person has got addictions. So they're obviously very obsessive and codependent. They can't um, hold back from things and they like to take things off people. They might actually steal things off of people or if you keep saying people because i'm feeling this person does this to a lot of people you might not know this person's done this to people their whole life this is the way they are this person likes to be in control that might be actually one of their addictions like they have to control the situation otherwise they don't know what to do they're addicted to controlling you you might have had to get a restraining order on this person maybe they took something from your house as well I think this person made you feel very chained to them, like tied to them. Maybe you felt like when you was with this person, you was waiting and you couldn't move. They might have tied you up like that or just tied you up in this situation because they were so obsessed with you. They didn't want you to be with anybody else. This person may have made you codependent as well, I'm getting. They might have blocked you emotionally so you didn't really know what you were thinking or feeling. You didn't even like know what you was doing in life because you felt so stuck and like just stuck with this person like i said they might have got you into addictions you might have been worse with addictions when you was with this person but this person's definitely addicted to control they actually like being codependent but i think they like to have whatever you have so if you bought something they would go and tell everyone else that they bought it or if you um, gave this person an idea, they would say, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And then they'll tell everybody it's their idea. Go off, probably give it to the next person and tell them it's their idea. Then ev I feel every conversation with the people they're with is the same conversation. It's a pattern with this person. Everything they do is just a pattern. 
Right, what else have we got on here? Oh, I wanted to do a karmic read just to have a nose. The energy doesn't change much from day to day because this is what they're thinking. So obviously they're in their head and they don't think any different than any other time because I don't feel they can think any different, to be honest, because this is just the way they are. Maybe you've come to realise this. Yeah, look, this person runs away. So they've got a fear of intimacy. I don't think they've got a fear of intimacy, even though it says it on the card. I think they don't mind being intimate with people at all. I think they've got a fear of commitment. It doesn't say it on this card, but that's what I'm getting. I think this person's a very lost little boy because there's a little boy standing on the bridge. This person might actually feel like they want to do themselves in at the moment because I'm getting a little boy standing on a bridge and it's quite a high bridge. They might feel like they want to jump. Or if you're a man, you might have felt like you wanted to jump off a bridge and they might have made you have all your childhood issues come up again if you're a man. And you probably felt like a little boy that was just lost in the middle of a field. You might have even gone to a bridge and stood at a bridge and looked down and contemplated this, I'm getting. I feel very sad on this card. I think this person was very intense. And I think you found it very hard letting go of this person. I think it put you in absolute turmoil, this did. I think you felt like dying when this person left you. I think you've got fear of intimacy now because it says on here fear of intimacy but I don't feel it's them, I think it's you because people keep running away from you or this person ran away from you so many times and left you on your own, it was very intense and I think you're really scared now to get close to someone because you might find it hard that they might let you go or they might flip in and out but I'm feeling that it's a man I'm talking about in this one because there's a little boy, look, standing, can you see him? Just there. He's standing on a bridge, and you can tell by this, the um, like tunnel bit that it's a very high bridge, and he feels like he's in the middle of nowhere, very cloudy down. I think this person made you feel like your day was just, like, just very, uh, maybe your head was very cloudy. I feel like someone I'm reading for, you felt like giving up after this person. I really don't like this card. I feel like you just felt like everything had gone. This person might have stripped you of everything, and you felt like there was just nothing left. I think you're scared of getting in a relationship, I really do. Maybe you feel like running away, don't run away, don't run away. Get out your head, right? Because if you, I spent years trying to run away from myself. You can't run away from yourself. You have to stay there and face it. I always say, don't fake it till you make it. I hate that um, phrase. You face it until you make it, okay? No one fakes it here. You just face it. I feel like you might be letting go a little bit now, but I feel like this has been really hard for you. You might feel quite alone. You might feel like a little boy on your own. But I feel like maybe you might be going through your childhood issues. Yeah, if you feel like running away, don't get things sorted out. Don't run away. Because you can't. You can't run away from yourself. You can't. There's no possible way. That's why you'll keep running for the rest of your life. And you will. I don't like that card. I feel like this made you very sad. Or if this is your son, if you're not a man watching this... This might be your son that feels like they want to run away, I'm getting now. They might feel like they had a hard relationship with their mum or dad. They might be in a little bit of turmoil now, if this is a son. They might have felt like you've let go of them and it's very intense for this person. Maybe you've got a son that feels like running away because they got fear in them about something else. Maybe one of your sons is codependent. And this person just wants to sabotage their own life. I think this person's feeling very frustrated. If it's not you, or it might be his son. I'm not talking about the, the other person I'm talking about. I am talking about the other person, but I'm not talking about like a karmic. I'm talking about someone's son at this precise moment. Or you are the boy. If you've got a son or a man around you, they're definitely watching you. They're seeing what you're doing. They might be watching you having fun with your friends at the moment and seeing that you're happily single. And they might be jealous of you living your life at the moment as a single person. And they don't like the fact that they're not friends with you anymore. 
and this person could be getting into more addictions than they had before and they might be abusing people they're with because they feel heartbroken because they didn't heal with you this person might feel that they're connected to you for a soul level maybe they're realizing now how devoted they should have been to you or how devoted you was to this person this person might offer you marriage though as a way of binding you together with this person whilst they can go off with other people and still chase other relationships I'm getting. But I hope you haven't given this person a key to your house because they might be a bit untrustworthy. I'm getting a feeling this person might have brought other people into your house. That's not for all of you. I'm just getting this person might have had a key to your property, might have come into your property whilst you wasn't there or came into your property and had a one night stand. Don't take it if it doesn't fit, guys, all right? Take it to God and ask if this is for you. See, the angels won't give me a card when I'm talking. They never do. So this person might have already been married. But I'm feeling this person might have a key to your house. And they might have done some unconventional things in your house. Yeah, be careful with this person. You change your locks if you've um, given this person a key. Or you might have given this person a key to your heart. This person is a... I knew there was a gaslighter. This person is a gaslighter. This person is like walks around wearing a mask and pretends that there's someone they're not i don't think this person even knows like who they are this person pretends so much they're actually deluded they've hidden their true feelings for so long and gaslit people and told other people that they're this and they're that i feel like it's the same story but i feel like this person like is hiding their true feelings of who they are i think this person pretends so much they don't know who they are because they've hooked up with so many people. But this person, y'all got their energy. This person's very codependent. Maybe you've realised this person was wearing a mask. This person might want to take their mask off and tell you their true feelings and stop pretending. And maybe they feel like their whole life is just delusional. They might realise that they're a gaslighter. And all they do is go around love bombing everybody. It's putting them in turmoil now because all they do is run away. Run away. I was going to say run around. They might have got you running around for them, like in your car, and doing stuff for them all the time, and running them here, running them here, and then just leaving you, abandoning you. But I feel this person does hide their true feelings. But they're just a pretender. They're the great pretender, and they pretend like everything is all right when it's not. Um. See, we got teddy bear. So this person is interested in you. They might have pretended that they wasn't. So this person might actually feel like they want to start this over with you again. They might feel like this was a very big romance. Because you lit this person's life up, that's why. Like I said before, I'm getting the name Teddy again. And I am. Or if you're a man and you like men, you might like bears. You're not bears, are if you know... If you don't know, men who like men with beards and quite overweight and they look very like bikers, they call them bears. So if you are a man here and you like another man, you might be into bears, like bear men. Or this person might be into other men and you don't know and they like a very big man with a beard or the person I'm talking about might be a very big man with a beard, looks a bit like a biker I'm getting so I'm getting a dark black beard, black hair quite handsome, quite big, quite cuddly, but this might be them, you ever, I don't know, I'm just, that's the vision I'm getting, you might call them bear, they might be like very open in the woods and they like making fires and they might like camping and um, like tree cutter I'm getting and making cabins and things like that, if you're in another country they might have hunted bears or I'm just getting a man that's very, very manly, bear-like. That's what I'm getting at the moment. So tell me, like, if it resonates. 
this person might come across as a big person, like a big bear, but they might be very small inside where they're so insecure. Right, let's see what else we got on this, guys. What are we on? 29.54. Way. We had this yesterday, ascending. Yeah, this person's preparing for union. They are. Because I feel different on this card today. This person's learned a valuable lesson from you. And now they wish that they had tried to elevate with you. This person's missing, like, the union they had with you because it felt very different. It was a different phase in their life, a bit different than normal. Maybe you have taught this person things in general about life. Maybe you did, um, like, help this person ascend by letting this person go. I feel like you have let this person go. I think you let them off like an air balloon and just... Maybe you're a lot higher than this person. Maybe this person can see that you're ascending and you're a lot more higher up in whatever you do. Maybe you're higher up in your job. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe this person lost you your job I'm getting as well. They might have even spoke to the union at your work like to try and get you to lose what you was doing because you was having new things coming up. This person didn't like you moving on and becoming higher than them, I'm getting as well. You might wear very bright colours. You might like Indian kind of stuff as well, I'm getting all like Moroccan. I've got Moroccan feeling on here, like clothes-wise or ornaments. You might have like Moroccan stuff. You might have been to Morocco. I don't know why I'm getting Morocco. You also might like skulls. There's no skulls on it, but I'm feeling someone might like skulls. Like that kind of gothic -y kind of feel as well. So I'm talking to a lot of different people here. This person might have put all their eggs in one basket, I'm getting, and thought they was all right, how they were going on. I'm reading a lot of that card, guys, and I am. I've got Morocco, I have, or Indian. Or you could just be foreign and I don't really know where you're from. Feathers I'm getting now as well. You might be seeing feathers. Yeah, someone's heartbroken now. Or they left you heartbroken. No, I think this person's quite lost. I think this person might be feeling suicidal, you know. And they're in despair. I'm also getting off this that a lot of people are breaking away from this person. And they're now getting a taste of their own medicine because you've taught them a lesson. They now are starting to realise what hurt feels like. And it's making them sad because now they know how sad you felt about them. They might be feeling lost without you or they might have lost someone and they're in despair. Because they know they can't come to you because you have ascended and now you're like preparing for a new union with someone else. You might be just preparing for someone new to come in. Or you might be with someone new. But now this person's heartbroken. This person could play the piano. Or you could play the piano. You might have a piano next to a white set of drawers I'm getting. Or you might have gone somewhere with this person on Valentine's Day where somebody sat and played the piano. They may be thinking about this in despair. I'm getting that. You might have met this person around Valentine's Day. Or Valentine's Day could have been a very special occasion for you and this person. But this person might be very musical. It doesn't have to be a piano. They could play other things. I'm just getting music. But this person's really heartbroken at the minute. And the reason they're feeling heartbroken is because you had to heal your heartbreak. And this person was toxic towards you and ruined your heart. You probably had to put it back together again as well because they were so abusive in the relationship with you. But now this person's mask is coming off and people are realising because they pretended so long. This is definitely a gaslighter. But this person is still partying and they're still like, Pretending to have fun, I feel. I feel this person is just partying to cover up with the mask how they truly feel. 
They might be sick of living in the moment, I'm feeling now as well. They might be. Right, let's see. We'll get one more of these cards. But be careful with this person, because I think they got a key to quite a few people's houses. Or they got a key to a few people's hearts. Oh, hey, hey. Right. We had this yesterday. I told you, out of all the cards, you'll get similar cards that come out. Someone felt like you was paradise. You might have done a lot of um, outings, going out with this person. Do you know I'm getting Mauritius as well now? You might have gone on holiday with this person to Mauritius, or you might have spoke about it, or going somewhere that was like paradise. This person has, like, happy thoughts about you. It brings them joy. You might have been quite playful with this person, or this is a very playful person. When you was with this person, you might have felt like you really did enjoy each other's company. Maybe you messed around a lot and got back to your childlike ways. I'm getting, look at that fly spying on us, mate. Get out. I hate flies. They're so dirty, aren't they? Yeah, but this person's feeling now that you was paradise. Or maybe they lost their paradise. See, I'm getting that feeling again about this person who's a bit bear-like in the middle of a, like, a jungle or woodlands or just out and about. They might be like a hiker or something. They love the outdoors, this person does. I feel they do. I think they like nature. If it's not, if it's you, just take it where it fits. All right. But I'm getting someone who likes to be outside. Someone likes... You might be into marine stuff or like scuba diving or just outdoor activities. Could be a water sign or it could be an earth sign we're talking about here. Or it could be an air sign. I'm getting, I'm getting earth, air. Yeah, my eyes twitching and water. You might have felt like you both like went a bit too deep in this relationship, to be honest. Like, I think this person just plays games though. Like, makes out they're just on a honeymoon period all the time. But there, this is how that person feels about you. But I am getting air and earth and water sign on that, guys. Right, I'm not going to pull any more of these. Look at the bottom. Yeah, you're just, like, grounding yourself now. You're solid as a rock, and you are. I think you're just growing now, and I think you're more stable than you was before. I think this person made you feel like... Um, you didn't have much security of this person. Or they might have made you feel secure because they were just performing, like pretending that you was secure and they would give you stability. I think this person gambled you for a handful of dirty stones, to be honest. I do. That's what I feel like. But I feel like you're very grounded. That's what this person might like about you. But this person isn't grounded. They're not. They're like a pebble and they roll everywhere. And like wherever the wind takes them, they go that way. Then the wind will take them somewhere else and they see something and there. I'm seeing a pebble. Like, that's why I'm doing that in my head. I'm seeing a pebble will roll to all different places. They won't stay still. They're just like a, peb like a pebble and you're like a rock. You're solid. You might be an earth sign. You might be a performer as well. Or this prefer, this prefer, I was going to say prefer. This person might prefer you because you are solid I'm getting but yeah this person sees security with you because you're stable you might be a performer you might perform you might help people grow in life you've got a lot of endurance you have you have yeah you cut this person out I think you cut this person down like a, a tree mate with an axe I do. See, this person, again, I'm getting that feeling of chopping down trees. This could be a tree surgeon or someone that chops up wood for a fire. Or it could be a battle axe, like a, a woman. No, no. <laughs> it could be a battle axe. Like, they might have a battle axe in the house, like, as a battle Because that's what a battle axe is, an old battle axe, isn't it? But as a woman in England, you call an old hag an old battle axe. So this might be an old battle axe. Or this person might like battling. Or I'm feeling you cut this person out or cut this person down like a tree with an axe. I think you had to stop the pattern with this person because they do pat they've been in this pattern for ages. They love giving people the silent treatment, this person does. They like cutting people out of their lives and separating and then getting back together. Then 
cutting you out, separating, getting back together. I feel this is just like a pattern. And then all of a sudden you don't see them for ages and it's like everything's a blur. They might cut you down as in cutting words or cut you out completely once they separated and stopped talking to you and gave you the side treatment and you never heard from this person again. But you're evolving now and you are. And you need to go on with the next phase of your life. And you need to release this person. This person's no good for you. They're not. They're like, they flit around everywhere, from person to person, place to place. Wherever they lay their hats, their home, I'm getting. This te person's definitely got childhood issues. They, they just can't grow. They can't. Where they've got childhood issues, mummy issues or daddy issues, this person, it stops their growth. That's why they cannot evolve. They can't move on to the next... They move on to the next thing, but they can't move on in life to, like, grow and expand and just... They're frightened, yeah, of releasing the past. This person cannot release the past. They feel happy living in the past. Yeah, you might have took a long time to heal from this person. Maybe you needed a lot of time to heal and it took you that long like to get out of this cycle maybe you didn't realize it was going to take you this long to heal out of this but you did but you did you've got change coming and then you have you've got a lot of change coming things are coming to you where you've healed and now you're shining your light bright you're very light-hearted, I feel. I feel like you can adapt to any situation, whether it's bad or good. You can adapt, unlike this person. You might have had to have found out how strong you are. You might not have realised how strong you was. Maybe you've had a change in life. Maybe you've got a change coming up where things are going to change for you now that you've healed. Yeah, I think you've got unconditional love for yourself. You, you've got a lot of self-love. You put all your love into yourself now. Give yourself affection. I think you're very attractive. I think you're very selfless. Like you're not a selfish person. This is for you, this card. You are not a selfish person. You give everybody unconditional love, which you should be careful. Don't. Give it to yourself first and make yourself feel whole. Okay? Before you do anyone else. Because you could be very attractive, which makes people want to love you. And they might, like, I was going to say abuse you. They might have abused you because of this, because you were a loving person. And you gave this person, like, your all. You gave this person your heart unconditionally. But now you realise that this person didn't give you enough affection. And attraction means nothing. So you've given all the love to yourself now. And all the love is for you. And then you can go and spread your love with other people and help people to learn how to love themselves, I feel. Right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I am. I wanted to. Do you know what? I'm. Yeah, I'm drawn to it. I was going to do you one of them, but I'm not. I'm drawn to these for some reason because these are my um, spirit messages. Okay, so this is a message from spirit. I won't take the cards that are in there because they do get stuck quite a lot. And then hopefully I can do another video. So if I'm a bit quieter today, but I um, had one of my neighbours decided to play music till two o'clock this morning. And I don't mind people playing music, okay? But this woman had, like, it was unbelievably loud. And um, it went on till two o'clock this morning. Then the guy opposite decided to clean his car at seven o'clock this morning. So I've had, like, non-stop broken sleep. And um, I was a little bit cheesed off. And I'm not normally, but it was ridiculous, yeah. I wouldn't mind. The music was really good because it's a foreign lady that's here. And I love the music. Uh, Moroccan music. She's Moroccan. Yeah, it's weird I've got Moroccan today. And um, I loved the music until she turned it up. And then it got absolutely terrible. But, yeah, and I've had no sleep. So I've not got the ump, but I did have the ump last night. Pardon me. That's me. But I'm really not energy. But I just feel a little bit tired. But I'm all right. But, yeah, if I feel seem a bit... Like, not my usual. It's because I'm not. And uh, I need my sleep. Because where I had really bad time was my ex. He used to deprive me of my sleep. 
he didn't like me sleeping and I was a full-time carer I done end of life care and he used to keep me up all night and like always having sex with me and that and he used to do it on purpose so by the time it's like five o'clock in the morning he'd be like oh you're going to work Kel oh I'd have a day off if I was you and then I never did I battle through because I had people that relied on me and I used to be so miserable well I wouldn't be miserable with my clients but um I end up losing my job because I didn't have the mental capacity to look after people that are vulnerable because he made me so tight and he'd done this so much and he was drugging me as well so um I have to have my sleep I have to that's why I sleep a lot because I've not had sleep for years this might resonate with you that's why I say things so yeah I'm not my usual so but I'm all right but I will um I'll have a coffee and then I'll I'll be all right in a bit right we've got if you are noticing changes within you, it's because you are leaving the old version of yourself behind. You are elevating and shedding unnecessary layers. Old cycles are ending now and new beginnings are on the horizon. You deserve this new chapter. So forget about the past, guys, all right, because you're on your way now. And you are, I don't know if you can see that. Might be a bit blurry. So, yeah, so you're elevating now. You probably are noticing a lot of changes because everything is changing for you. Yeah, look at the snake tied up at the top. So the snake's all tied up now. Someone had you like a puppet on a string, I'm feeling. Like, maybe just wanted to control you because I'm feeling... They, this isn't a string like that. It's like, it looks like a dream catcher. Someone might have tried to, um, like, catch your dreams and take your dreams away from you. But the snake's all tied up now, living in a dream world I'm getting. This person's got two sides to them, they have. I can read that off this card. But yeah, you're ending this now. It's new beginnings and they're on the horizon. So even if they're not there now, they are on the horizons. And you do deserve this. You've got a new chapter coming in your life, guys. I'm going to do you another one. I haven't used these cards before. They're moving. Like, oh, like crazy. They want to jump out of my hand. They are moving a lot. But I, I looked at these yesterday and I thought, oh, whoa, I'm really drawn to these cards. It's a lot of my cards I haven't even used yet. Right, make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes. Sorry, I'll start again. Make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you, okay? You need to know your worth, even when others don't. You are not what people think of you, okay? So if someone's been putting you down, see, that's why I've got that puppet master thing. So if someone's like, had you like a bit, try to distort the way you were, try to make you feel less than you was, don't believe them. It was just a trap because they are controlling and they just lie to you, basically. Don't believe it, okay? My hand's itching, my money hand's itching again for you. So some of you could be coming into money, so, yeah, just make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. You know your worth now, anyway, and you do. And don't worry what other people think, because you're not what people think you are. And if people are gossiping about you, take no notice. People are noticing now that you're not the person this person said you were. I want to do you another one of these. <laughs> I do. I really like these cards. Whoa. They're flipping like crazy, these are. They are flipping. Whoa, one's flipped right over. Right, what did I just say? My cards always carry on from what I said. Told you. It's good here. You need to ignore what everyone else is doing and achieving. Your life is about breaking your own limits and outgrowing yourself to live your best life. You are not in competition with anyone else. Plan to outdo your past, not other people. Now, what did I post the other day? I'm not in competition with no one. I want us all to win, and I know you feel the same. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? If you're a decent human being, that's how you feel. You don't want to be in competition. I feel this person put you in competition. So you felt like you weren't achieving enough for this person. Maybe you tried to be better so this person wouldn't outgrow you. But take no notice. You need to ignore this person and ignore what other people are doing. Don't worry about Mr. Jones and Mrs. Jones next door. If they've got a new car, wish them well, be happy. They're on their journey. You're on your journey, okay? We're all on different journeys. We are, all of us. 
Yeah, live your best life. Whatever you've got, just live it the best you can. And you're not in competition. You're not. I don't think you do get in competitions with anyone else, but I think this person does. I think this person planned to outdo you, but you just plan to outdo the past now, not this person. I feel that a lot. This person put you in competitions. And I'm glad that come up. And I've got one here in my hand that's actually drawing me. And it says, this will be the last card, all right? If you think you are alone, you are not. We are beside you in all challenges that you face. Trust that outside sources will always be working with you to ensure the best outcome of, of every situation. We have your best interests at heart and we love you. Okay, that's from your angels, all right? You're not alone. You're never alone. I know sometimes it feels like you're on your own. I live on my own and I know. And I do have days. Don't think I'm always sitting here like this because I'm not. I'm a human being. Like, Well, I'm not human. I'm, a, I'm an alien. <laughs> but I'm in a human form while I'm here. And um, we're having a human experience. That's what's happening with a lot of us. We're not human like these people. and We're not. Because these people are just living in, like, the matrix and that. And we're out of it. And you're not on your own. And don't think you're on your own. And your angels are by your side. They are. I'm hearing this. They're by your side. Your angels are protecting you. You're very highly protected. So you're not on your own, okay? Talk to your angels. Just talk to them normally. Explain to them. If you feel low, tell them you feel low. Tell them what you want. Ask them to give you a sign. And um, you will get comfort out of it. And you will. I talk to my angels more than I talk to anybody. And, um, oh, I was having a right laugh with my angels last night, and I was, and I get, like, um, like interaction back with them, and I do, and then suddenly I can feel them around me, but know that they love you, okay, and just know that they have got your best interests at heart, and the best, yeah, they will ensure the best outcome of every situation, you are highly protected, and you are, and you are not alone, all right, you've got me as well, and you've got yourself, and you've got your higher self, and listen, you're your own best friend, and you are. Nobody knows you better than you do, okay? Well, your angels know you better than you do because they've known you before you even came here. Just speak to them like on a normal level, and they will help you, darlings, and they will. Right? So, I think I'm going to leave it there, and then I'm going to do you another video. And um, thanks for coming to my channel. Do you like my dress? looks like cobwebs i feel a bit gothic easy though i think some of you might be into a bit of a a bit of goth i don't know but yeah i haven't worn this for about probably five years i just dug it out the wardrobe i don't if you think i've got a lot of clothes here i don't throw nothing away and i've been big and i've been small and i i can go up and down with my weight because obviously i was very ill with my ex and i was anorexic i was a size four to six it was disgusting you'll see me on my earlier videos i was so ill you can see in my eyes i was dead but i am um, i've grown and put on weight now and i used to be a size 16 to 18 at one point as well so i go up and down like anything sometimes i want to eat sometimes i get life's troubles and then the, i can't eat when i'm um like have breakups I just can't I can't even swallow but yeah so I don't get rid of none of my clothes and um, I've saved a lot of my clothes from years ago so if you think I've got a lot of clothes and oh I bet she's got like those clothes I have because I just and I love a charity shop most of my clothes are from charity shop because I don't like people copying me so if anyone says oh where'd you get that dress I tell them charity shop and uh I get monsoon stuff out of there, like next and stuff like that. And I do go to nice areas where they do nice stuff, but they're not too expensive. But yeah, nothing I've got, hardly anything I've got is new, apart from my shoes. But some of them are from charity shop as well. Oh, I love a charity shop, mate. Everything in my house is charity shop. Everything, honestly. Even down to all this, the wood I found, and I had it made into shelves in here. And like, just the boat I found on a skip. This lamp I found outside, and I think the only thing new in here is probably my bed because I won't have a second hand bed because of um, like I've got a lot of energy and I can take energy in. So, my bed is all I always have a new bed and my TV, but everything else in it is all charity shop, even my pictures. I've got Jesus behind me there, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm not being funny, that's not even wallpaper. I got that out the charity shop, yeah, and that's pure silk and it cost me five pounds. And that, I've just pinned it on the wall. I put everything on the wall. So this whole wall's white, and then I just put stuff on. Like, everything, look. My lampshades, my curtains, a charity shop. And, like, 
wardrobe I found downstairs and I've got the neighbour to bring it up. Seriously? Oh, I've got to show you this picture. This is what I used to look like before I um, awakened and this is how I felt as well. And I'm going to make sure you see it. See this picture? Oh, hang on. See this picture here? That was me before my awakening. I was a fallen angel. And they're all my... Um, I'm not a very good camera person here. Yeah, that was what I felt like when I had uh, my breakup before. See, I fell down seven, mate, and got up eight. I probably fell down 78 million times and got up eight million. <laughs> Seriously, in my life. But that was me. I had brown hair. And, um, yeah, it looks so much like me before. And I look at that picture because I'm getting a bit emotional. I'm never going to let myself get back to that ever again. And I'm not. I will never let a man get me to that ever again and that's exactly how I felt because I was uh, living on the beach and um, our, the beach to us, my, me and my ex was a very sacred place and he ruined it for me, he attacked me on the beach so I can't go to the beach now and um, I hate the beach and I do, I don't like the sea because I'm scared of it now and uh, he knew everything I loved he would destroy, I've been through it guys and I have and that's why I did this channel and yeah so that is, that is me at the sea and that's exactly what I looked like as well, that is. And that's exactly how I felt afterwards. So I know what you're going through, all right? But I'm strong now, and so are you. And I have been there, like I said, and I've chopped my head off. And we will do this together. I'm a woman of 50 years old, mate, and I've had a life, trust me. And that's why I'm here, because I want to give you support. And I want you to know that you are never alone, okay? Because I spent a lot of time on my own, and I, I wanted to go to sleep and never wake up again. Like I said to you before, I couldn't even talk. I couldn't talk. I would had nothing to say because I just was so brainwashed by this person. I actually lost my mind. And I'll tell you what, I would lose anything in life, right? But I never want to lose my mind again. I was running around my state with, like, hardly any clothes on. And I just, let, like... I'd get up and walk out the doors. He only lives over there. So I'd get up and always walk to the person that I was really should have been afraid of. But that's the only person I had here because he isolated me. So I used to go over there and like, I didn't know I went over there. So when I got there, I used to like wake up and think, what am I doing here? And then I'd tap on his window and he'd go, go away, go away. Or he wouldn't even answer me at all. And then I'd be out there. Then I'd look down and I'd think, I've got no clothes on. So I was getting so in my mind that I was wandering off. And one day I was at work and um, he harassed me so much at work. I used to drive a van. This is after I'd done care work. And I got out of my van one day and I went to do a job, to go and do a cleaning job. And I didn't know where I was. And I was lost completely. And it was only up the road from where I lived. And I just, everything looked different. And that was the day I knew I lost my mind completely. So my boss came and picked me up because he'd done a search on my phone where I was and uh, my van was only around the corner and uh, I had to leave work because I had a total, total breakdown. So, and then I spent the next three years stuck indoors um, fixing myself every day. And I mean, day and night I've been healing myself and here I am. And I'm not completely like well, but I'm better than I was and I have my own mind and I've done a lot of healing. I'm over my childhood stuff now. And I've got a lot of heartbreak still, and I have. I have got a lot of heartbreak. I was devastated because I'm from a narcissist family and I'm from abusive background. So I'm used to being with narcissists. So I find that's well, not now, but that was my safe place. So um, how much he was bad to me, I always used to go back to him because it's just what you do. You feel stupid now thinking about it, but that's what I used to do. I wouldn't do it now, never, never again, because I've got my independence. But I do tell you my story, because I want to relate with you. And I haven't just been here this once. I've been through this quite a few times in my life, um, quite a few times. So I'm a, a sort of a magnet for narcissists, because um, I used to be very um, caring and too overly giving and I used to give myself away to men because I felt that that was the way I got attention and someone would love me if I slept with them and that and that's what I was like there's a lot about me that I will tell you and I'm here to out myself and I don't care because um I don't mind outing myself because people can see me and my life as gossip but 
like I saw a little note on YouTube the other day, if people want to pull up a chair and sit at my table, I'll show you and tell you how God put all my pieces back together. And I will. That's why I believe in God. So I've been there, guys, all right? And I don't feel sorry for myself. I am a survivor. And I want you to be a survivor as well. And we can do this. And you will do this. And you will. And that's why I'm here, okay? Men or women, it doesn't make no difference to me. Men and women, we both go through the same things. And, um... It can be a very lonely place, and it can. And I just want to know, um, sorry, want you to know that I understand, okay? And I do. I'm not someone that's sitting here and hasn't walked the walk. I have walked in your shoes, so I get it. There's nothing worse than going to someone like therapists I went to, and they, they've never even had kids. They've never even had a breakup. I used to say to them, how do you know how to help me? And then one day I sat and thought, I can help myself, I know, I've been there, and that's what I did, I just retrained my brain, and retrained the whole of me, which was not easy, it was not easy at all, I fell many times, but um, I did it, and I did, and you can do it as well, and you can, and you will, alright, if you don't feel like getting up today, stay in bed, alright, but don't stay in bed tomorrow, okay, just do it for a day, and then get up, all right, get up. Because once you get up and have a shower, like my son always says to me, Mum, you got your face on? That's what he says. If he used to ring me up, not so much now. I'll go, oh, Jay, I feel like I can't do this. He'll go, Mum, Mum, calm down. Have you got your face on? I'll be like, what do you mean? he go, have you had a shower and put your makeup on? I'll be like, no, I haven't. Made. He'll go, go and have a shower, put your makeup on, and ring me back. So an hour later, I'll be like, hi, Jay. He's like, you all right? I'll be like, yeah, I'm fine. He said, you put your face on, didn't you? I'll be like, yeah. He said, you're always better, Mum when you put your face on and you feel more uplifting and he used to say to me like go and walk the dogs now and he was a very good guide for me my son I shouldn't have put it on my son but he was because he knew me better than anybody else so sometimes we do wear a mask ladies if you wear your makeup if you feel better you want to put your mask or men you want to put your mask on and it makes you feel better just get up get showered okay just do some house even if you feel tired just do it, all right? Because once you start doing it, you feel better. If you're scared to go out, try and go out, okay? Because once you get out, you feel better. You might not make it to the end of the road. That's all right. Then tomorrow, you can make it to the end of the next road. And then maybe you think, I'm going to go out the third day, and I'm going to go to the next road after that next road. And that's what you do to keep pushing yourself, okay? Carry on. And make sure you eat, no matter what, okay? Make sure you look after yourself. Nourish your body, all right? I feel like someone might need this today. Love yourself, okay? Because nobody's going to love you as much as you love you, all right? And I love you. And I do gabble on because I feel I have to, all right? And I'm here for you. Message me as much as you like. If you need any guidance, just let me know. If you want me to talk about a subject as well, let me know in the comments and I will talk about that subject because there's not much I've not been through, okay? And I will help you or we'll just, I'll go live and we'll have a little chat about things and I can give you little tips. I mean, I don't know everything. I just know what I did and what helped me and hopefully it can help you, right, guys? Know I love you. Love yourself. Have a wonderful day. If you feel crap today, just have a day and F the day off, all right? But tomorrow is a new day, all right? Don't hang it out and stop feeling sorry for yourself. We're not having no pity parties round here, all right? I love you guys. Thanks for all your support, yeah? And I do really appreciate it. And I love you. If no one's told you today, I love you. And I'm very proud of you, okay? And I am. And I mean it.